All right, well, let's take a look at uh, the forecast as it is right now. I can tell it's a little bit breezy here within the Albuquerque metro, and that is because of nearby storms, which continue to uh, bring some rain to some areas of the state. Not everyone is getting it, uh, but as you can see right now, we're watching that flash flood warning still in effect for areas like uh, Mora County and also San Miguel, uh, the latest of which expires at 9.15 tonight. And then you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about. We have some cloud cover moving into the Albuquerque Metro as a result of uh, one of those gusty outflows from the storm. Uh, so that's why we're getting uh, a little bit of wind with in uh, Albuquerque and the possibility for showers as well is still going to be problematic as we move toward tomorrow. Not because monsoon is a bad thing. We need monsoon, but you add what would be a typical monsoon day with the burn scars and then we have to proceed with caution. Certainly letting everyone know that for tomorrow we will be getting some of those flash flood watches in place. But as it is for tonight, dry and mild. I'm anticipating that for tomorrow the flood threat will return, unfortunately, to areas like Ruidoso, the Sacramento Mountains, and then out toward eastern areas areas of the state where we continue uh, to get into uh, that monsoon pattern, but also near some burn scars. And speaking about burn scars, uh, I want to let you know for tomorrow, I'm looking at three areas which are going to be under high threat. And this is regarding the burn scars. You can see right here, it's number one, Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak. Uh, also, number four, uh, McBride burn scar and the blue two, uh, very high is going to be the category we get into for Wednesday. So that is going to be a very active monsoon day and nearly all the burn scars or at least recent burn scars that we have will be at threat for uh, some flooding, unfortunately. As you can see for Wednesday, showers and storms possible. Thursday, we continue to see those scattered showers and storms as sort of this daily monsoon pattern. The same can be said for Friday, where we're expecting those isolated showers and storms as well. So this is what I'm looking at for uh, basically the end of the work week into the weekend. It's gonna be a wet one, but this also has a really nice effect of cooling things down. And that's why we're uh, noticing the absence of triple digits for Roswell, uh, but with daily rain chances. And across the southwest for tomorrow, looking at some cloud activity, you might be getting uh, some temperatures in the 90s. But all in all, it's going to be uh, just kind of a mild uh, July day, especially for areas like the northwest. Seven day forecast show that we're getting into some sunny and dry weather continuing to be pretty dry with in that part of the state for the North Mountains tomorrow. I'm calling for 70s and the higher elevations, but in areas like Santa Fe, those daily rain chances will keep those temps in the 80s. Now across the Northeast for tomorrow, we'll be watching uh, uh, the potential for some of those storms getting strong, maybe dropping a little bit too much rain at one time. And for the East Mountains, as it goes, we're looking at kind of a mild day uh, for July. From Belen to Bosque Farms, we're looking at some low 90s. And for the Albuquerque, Metro for tomorrow. I'm anticipating low 90s as well. So this is where we stand in regard to rain chances, both Rio Rancho and Albuquerque getting up to about a 40% chance on Wednesday. That will be the day where we have the potential to see uh, maybe some flooding in localized areas, city streets, the arroyos may get flowing once again. So it's always a good precaution to stay away from those, uh, of course, flooded areas and those ditches. Uh, but as far as uh, the monsoon goes, it's a daily chances. That's good news. That's about all I have for on air right now. Here's what my colleague, meteorologist uh, Alan Shoemaker, what he's working on. Hey, Eddie, while well, I'm out in the sunshine, and you know, most of the state has had a chance to dry out after that very wet June and some flash flooding. So hasn't been quite as wet in early July, but we'll see if that changes the next few days. Check the link here or check on the KOB4 Facebook page. We'll talk about some rainfall totals over the next few days and if that can mean some flash flooding concerns.